Hi, all my little glasses geeks. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, how's everyone doing? I have a new video here. I've, I've been very, very ill. And I, I wasn't able to get out of bed there. And while I was in bed, I was wondering, you know, what good am I? What worth am I? being so ill and unable to get out of bed and the only thing that always goes through my mind is these videos that I'm making and then I thought well you know it's one thing to make videos it's a whole nother thing to uh, to make videos that are of any worth to make videos that could help anyone that could heal anyone that could do any good for anyone you know and so <laughs> obviously this has kind of more become the weird side of me, the weird side of, you know, it's, it's the geek side of me. Uh, and thankfully I'm feeling a lot better today, but I'm, I am having to do this from my bedroom. So, you know, and, and I'm glad I'm a lot better today. Uh, but I thought, well, I had the strength, well, I had the ability, I would go ahead and I would make these videos that I think are so vital. And and I made a couple of notes here. I, I have been scared, really, really scared to, to say this to anyone at all. Uh, I've been scared to say this kind of stuff to my family, but... And I've been really debating whether or not you know, to make a video like this and say this and put this out there um, to the public. And and I know that this, I didn't really have any introduction for this video. This this is totally unscripted on, on everything, uh, on, you know, not thought out, you know, but a lot of these videos that I've been posting here have been not thought out as of late. Uh, and I'm still looking at myself on the screen versus looking at the camera and so I'm I'm trying to get myself to look at the camera better so I'm I'm sorry about that if if I don't look at the camera if I look look down rather than <laughs> cuz I'm looking at myself and I'm looking down but when I look at the camera I can't see myself on camera anyway so um <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry nearly choked on my own spit there Ugh. that's not good so <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I've found, believe it or not, because, and, and it's almost like, I swear that all the spiritualism stuff that I've been getting into, I, I believe it and I believe in it. And I've been going after it as a source of comfort for me and as a source to heal my soul and to comfort me and to soothe me and, a, and for a balm uh, like a chapstick or an oil, a soothing oil for my soul. I, I've been hoping that it's been, you know, and a lot of these spiritual things haven't been soothing, but I have found answers that I never would have otherwise if I had stayed in, in my religion. Oop. Oh, I shouldn't play with that. Darn it. I just loosened my, I'm so nervous. I'm playing with things. <laughs> and, and oddly enough, I, I looked at myself and I glanced at myself at this moment and I was like, I look like Mr. Rogers. And he's like, oh God. <laughs> so anyway, I'm having to talk rather low and very close to the microphone. So I'm sorry about all the lip smacking and tongue smacking and mouth sounds that I might be uh, making. And, um, and any breathing into the microphone I might be doing. I'm sorry about that. I, I do have this guard here, but obviously it's not going to be doing that much. I'll try to keep it further away from me but I can't talk very loud you know because there are people immediately in the other room and I'm trying to you know I'm trying to be heard and not be heard by them I'm trying to be heard by you guys and not be heard by them all at once so because I don't want to disturb them I mean their hearing's going but still you know uh so yeah Thankfully, the TV is rather quiet now for the moment compared to the way it usually is. But anyway, so yeah, I, I was sick and through all these bouts of illness, I was like, 
what kind of videos can I possibly make that would be any worth to anyone? And, and I hope these videos stay up and I hope that they heal you. I hope that they help you. I'm going to start making videos and I'm going to record as many videos as I can here in succession uh, as rapidly as I can uh, while I'm well here and while I have the, this moment of free time. Um, and I'm just going to tell my truths and, and I hope they heal you. I hope they help you. And, and I hope they help you make decisions in your life so that you can have a better life. I hope they, uh, I hope they make you figure out, you know, how to direct your life, how, how to, what to do in your life, what to say, what to not say. Uh, I, I hope they, you know, I hope that you, you guide other people to these videos so that it can help others too. Uh, and I'm sorry about any camera shake cause the bed's shaking here. I'll try not to move too much. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope that these heal you. I hope that these videos help you. Uh, and having said that, this one I think is the most important at this moment. Um, it's, it's personal, but it's not personal. It's, it's, it's global. It's sociological. It's, it's important to me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to get on with it. This, I'm, I'm telling you all this because I'm hoping that it can help you make decisions in your life. I'm hoping that it can save you. I'm hoping that it can help some of you. I'm hoping that it can heal some of you. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm going to do my best to not get political I'm, and not, because I'm not going to take sides. This stuff just comes to me. There's something that I found out about myself. Uh, I've always been an empath and I've always been a channeler. Whatever you want to call it. Channeler, soothsayer, psychic, whatever you want to call it. And yes, for me, it is predicting the future. But I also feel other people's feelings. So I have I have all this weird, freaky stuff going on. I, I never understood it till recently, till I started looking in this, into spiritualism, into magic, into Wiccan, into all these other things, and it actually explained me, who and what I am. So I suggest strongly for everyone else to look into these things, research them, don't just stay into whatever established religion you're in. Look into these things. I know that Christianity, Muslim, Buddhism, all these others, all these established religions say stay away from this stuff, but I strongly suggest look into it. The more it's refused by the mainstream, the more you should look into it because they're in all the shit. There is a lot of diamonds. And I also found out that, uh, oh my God, I'm at the eight minute mark already. <laughs> so I better hurry up with this. Uh, I, I also found that everybody's spiritualism you know everybody's spirit heart soul core whatever it's like a fingerprint you're original and so what is truth for someone else will be just a pile of falsehoods for another person you know one person's poison is another person's salvation you know one person's uh one person's cure is another person's damnation you know just whatever so you know don't don't just write something off simply because it sounds hokey it what's hokey today might actually be very relevant for you and helpful f for you tomorrow. And that's what I found out in my life. So anyway, having said that, uh, these things that I was very reluctant to tell the world, to tell anyone at all, and really put it out there for you, the public. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't wanted to put it out there because this is some really, really, really bad stuff. And so I've been debating whether or not to say this at all and that, and I've never said this stuff to anyone outside my family before anyone at all, but this is the truth and this is the future. And this is the information that was given to me personally. So to anyone who watches this, listen to my words and, and mark my words because you know, this is the future. This is what is going to happen. This is what I didn't channel this. This was just given to me. This was just 
told to me this is what's going to happen so i'm just going to put it out to you point blank as it was told to me um trump is going to get reelected this is you know i'm just telling you trump is going to get reelected he is uh he's going to serve another 4 years trump is going to serve a full 8 years in office a full 8 that's it after he serves his full 8 years he's going to step down peacefully this is the thing. He is going to step down peacefully. Everyone, including myself, I, I'm looking at this and going, are you sure? Because he's, this. He, there's no way he's going to step down peacefully. But I'm told he's going to step down peacefully. After Trump steps down, you know, after his full eight years of presidency, he is going to step down. The next person that comes after him is going to be a, quote, Democrat, unquote. Uh, I see him wearing navy blue, having blonde hair. He's not going to be as fat as Trump. He's going to be about half the size as Trump. He's going to be like heavy set Biden, you know. Um, and, you know, what he is going to be is he is going to be like an old school Republican. He's going to be essentially a Republican in, in a Democratic sheepskin. We are, I believe we're going to get eight years of him. Uh, it might be four, but I, I, I got strong indication that we're probably going to get about eight years of this, quote, Democrat, unquote, uh, president after Trump. And believe it or not, Trump is not the one to worry about. The Democrat is not the one to worry, worry about either, believe it or not. Even though apparently he's going to be doing some things that will be leading up to the next person. Now, after this Democrat president gets into power, after he serves his time and steps down, it's the next president after him who will literally have tanks rolling down, you know, I want to say Washington Street, but it's it's the main thoroughfare in Washington, like in front of the White House or whatever, that main road or something. I don't know. I don't know what the place looks like or the location. You figure I could at least Google search this to know the street name or something, but I didn't. I don't care about this stuff. But <laughs> what's the street name? I don't know. But he's going to have literally tanks rolling down the main street of Washington. Literally. I literally see this in my mind a vivid photographic reality moving picture there are going to be tanks and this guy president number three he's the one who's going to turn this into what we in america consider a communist country he is going to be the one who sorry for messing up my microphone here whoop <sighs> i this is so terrifying saying these things, especially out loud and recording recording them like this. It just it terrifies me there. I hope that did, I hope the microphone didn't pick that up the second time. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this president, president that I currently call number three, um, he is going to be the quote communist unquote president as as we know it here in america he he's going to be the one who's going to be throwing people in jail he's going to be the one who are he's he's literally going to be the hitler of america the the nazi of america you know you think trump's bad this guy number three he's going to be the one who's going to literally be clearing the streets of everyone just of everyone period period So, yeah, that's the information I've been given personally. And this stuff has already been pre-decided by those who are in power. All of this has been completely decided already by those who are in power, literally. Um, we have no control over it. But mark my words, this is going to happen. I hope I'm wrong. In all truth, in all, I seriously, I hope I'm wrong. I need to be wrong. I don't want to be right. I need so badly to be wrong. But it is playing out. Oddly enough, I was not told about this COVID-19 thing. My sister who does research 
And she's very much in the physical world. She's not in the spiritual world like I am. She was told about COVID-19. She actually did, you know. But me, you know, I mean, she's she's doing high-end mathematics and she knows about this stuff. Me, I don't, I'm a spiritual, I'm a spiritualist. I, you know, and I didn't even know it. I'm getting messages from all kinds of ghosts and people and after, and, and I wasn't told about COVID-19 at all. Apparently, at least for... Obviously, for the white people, COVID-19 isn't even a blip on the screen, which is really disturbing because white people are dying right alongside black people. I mean, it's just like, what the hell, you know? So I, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Um, maybe it's because I don't know mathematics. Maybe it's because I'm Asperger's. I mean, I don't, I don't. I'm an Asperger's channeler. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm an Asperger's channeler. But yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm at the 16 minute mark already. Um, so this this is why I've been terrified to tell anyone. This is why I've been absolutely terrified to tell anyone. Because these things that have been channeled to me, you know, literally the spiritual world opened up to me and told me these things and I didn't necessarily want to be told them but I mean this is this is what I was told it's nothing but bad news I'm really sorry I finally figured out what's going on why Trump gets voted back into office and this I'm going to hurry up and tell you about one is because of COVID-19 it's killing off it's killing off all the poor people, all the homeless people, all, all the African Americans is killing off. And then two, because of the protests. Sadly, I'm having to calculate this and figure this out as it's happening. I'm like, how can Trump get in again? Unless, unless it's truly an un underground thing where the people's votes don't matter. You know, if the people's votes actually count, if the people's votes actually count, how Trump gets reelected is because the demographic that would usually, and this is my figuring, I wasn't given this information. This is my mind's calculation lining up with the information that was channeled to me, given to me. So if you really do have to rely on people's votes, this is what it looks like. More than likely the demographic that is protesting and that is being killed off the most via the COVID are the demographic that would vote against Trump. And everyone who is protesting, literally, I think what they're doing, and this this literally, it's like there's, there's conscious, purposeful thought to this. It's like they're flushing the people out who would vote. It's like they're flushing the people out who would vote against Trump, and they're arresting them. And the ones that there aren't, that they are not arresting, more than likely won't be able to vote because they don't have a job anymore and therefore they're homeless or their their voting location is just up in the air you know they don't have a permanent residence and so they're not going to be thinking about voting you know and the third thing is that they're just going to keel over from covid and that's my calculations uh that looks very accurate to me i hope i'm wrong so don't It's kind of ridiculous to say all these horrible things and then say, don't take this video in a negative way. Don't take what I'm saying in any negative way. But I mean, it's all negative. It's all negative. I'm All I can think of. Oh, by the way, I figured something out. The gay people had it right. Instead of protesting, they threw parades. Throw a parade. If someone arrests you for having a parade, they're the bad guy. They will be looking bad because they are the bad guy. Throw a parade. Throw a dance party. You know? Make it into a happy thing. Throw a prayer vigil. Prayer vigils are silent. They don't cause any noise. They don't they don't upset anyone. You're just standing out, you know, in the open, praying. Throw a prayer vigil. 
throw a parade like the gay people. I, I don't know if I should say this. I, when you're channeling people, you don't know if you're actually channeling the actual person or not. And when I think about someone, it's like I automatically connect to them instantaneously. I don't have a choice about it, even when I don't want to connect to them. I mean, if you think about really dark people in history, you don't want to connect to them. But it's like I just connect instantly. I can't help it. I don't like it. Especially with the negative people and bad people. It would be nice if I just at least had like a door that I could shut and like, no, I'm not going to connect to them. It, that'd be nice if I at least had that option. But... As of late, I haven't had that option at all. Anyway, um, I I got this. I I I realized this after seemingly channeling Floyd. I don't know. Um, he seemed really upset. You know, George Floyd. He didn't want people getting arrested. He didn't want people getting killed. He didn't want families being torn apart via you know parents being arrested and whatnot. And, and I was like, well, you know, if he's really upset about this, what, what's a better way to protest? And you know what? The gay, the gay community got it right. You throw a parade, you know, my idea is throw a prayer vigil, you know, literally go out there with, you know, like little, little electric tea lights and just pray, you know? prayer you know i i know i've heard of cops breaking up dance parties before making them into something evil and it's like dance parties are not evil well let's how about you throw a parade and why don't you have like like the gay community your own flag like the flag of justice and it can be every every color every skin color you know from like complete black to complete white you know i mean yellow red all of, you know, just every shade of just black and brown and beige and just everything, you know, rosy to peach to, you know, just everything, you know, why not have a ra rainbow flag of skin colors and wave that around like the gay people did and throw a parade, you know, it could be the parade of justice, literally, and just do a parade. I say do a prayer vigil. Do something that will not get people arrested so that you can be around to vote. Um, please. Um, but yeah, that is me sticking my little, my little dirty little opinion in there. And I really shouldn't be. So... But yeah, that's what I didn't want to say, and uh, I'm at the 23 minute mark, so I'm going to cut this off, and my next video, I'm going to tell you all about the dream that I was given about this day and age. And it's not so great, but there you go. So, yeah, I'm a channeler, <laughs> and I didn't even know it, so... And I'm not trying to be political. I'm I'm really not trying to be... I, I don't... When it comes to this channeling stuff, I'm trying not to be political. I'm trying not to get in the middle of it because some of the stuff that I'm given is just like, what the... You know... What the flip? How about that? What the flip? You know? WTF. You know? Just... And I, and I don't understand the bigger picture, the bigger meaning of it until it comes around, you know, or I learn or I find out and then I'm just like, oh my God, you know, but anyway, so please don't take this in any negative way. No one, please. I, I'm very much for Black Lives Matter. I'm very much for, you know, black rights, but I'm just, I'm saying this is the information I've been given. And kind of like when you see something really, really awful or you find out like someone's really sick and you just don't know what to say, it's like that. 
and and granted I might be throwing out you know like a you know like the doctors do nowadays just a pez dispenser of you know like pitiful attempts to help you know just that's kind of what I'm doing here but yeah but this is the information I've been given and all I can think of is I'm sorry I just I'm sorry you know kind of like when you're told that a person is sick you know or a really bad car accident or something I, I just I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry So, yeah, I'm going to cut this off. Bye.